I woke up in the best mood because I slept so well. These are going to be some festive holiday days of my life. We are having fun. I'm home for the holidays for like three days. I thought that we could do just a few days of my life being home. I love this pink hat. I think it adds a little fun because I'm wearing like all black besides that. So it's a little fun moment. Oh shoot. Okay, I need to get gas and I wanted to get a coffee. My fuel is low. Can I please get an order of the egg white bites? And then can I get a venti cold brew with vanilla sweet cream foam? And then in the drink, can I do um, two pumps of sugar cookie and almond milk? That's it, thanks. Alrighty, bro, if you can come on down, thank you. Thank you. We, they put a drive through Starbucks in my town. I couldn't be happier. There was one in like the town next to me that I would like drive out of my way to go to, but this one, so close. I'm so happy. My mom just said she's like, you're not vlogging. It's like, I mean, I, I can. <laughs> so I finally have makeup. Well, I actually really don't even have makeup on. That Benefit um, looks like a little mascara, uh -huh. but it does your brows. Uh -huh. I think it's good. You know, the pencil, you actually have to like pay attention to, or yeah. you could look a fool. Yeah, no, I know. It's a job. By the way, I have to get a cold brew because if I do, I get 20 points. Can I get a venti cold brew with soy milk? That's it. Thank you. We're going to get our nails done. My mom needs a manicure pedicure. I just am getting a gel pedicure. I'm trying to get my mom on this wave of gel pedicures because they really are life-changing simply because it's 20 degrees outside so you don't have to walk around in flip-flops. Yeah. I don't know what it's going to do to my nail beds. I'm not a scientist, so I don't really exactly know the answer, but... I'm sure there's somebody out there that's on my side. You're booked and busy, and then I am wrapping. I shipped all of my holiday gifts to the house purposefully. Well, not, yeah, you had them shipped. You didn't ship them. You oh, yeah, sorry, ship. sorry. No, 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 yeah. no. Can I just say something really quick? In the event that they're busy there, I will just get a manicure, and I'll get a pedicure when I go on Thursday before my trip. Danielle was like... I've never seen any of them. And I know she's a little bit younger than me, so I think that's why, like, generationally, because- She's never seen any of the Home Alones. No. Home Alone 2 in New York is so Danielle Carolyn coded. Like, that movie, like, the the limo and the going all the New York stores, like, she would love that. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. How is he running up that car and no one noticed? Like, you guys comment below, what do you think the most popular Christmas movies of our generation are? I do think Elf is up there. Polar Express, honestly, I do think is up there too. You don't like Polar Express? I don't like Christmas Story. I don't really like Christmas Story either. Oh. Spot, it's horrible. I'm very narrow, spot. I'm not doing it. Wrapping gifts, I love this. I got this like neutral paper from Paper Source. Honestly guys, I used to just throw my gifts in a bag, but wrapping it, it just makes it so much more special. I feel like it's a whole like unwrapping experience. So, I just wrapped this one for my dad. I'm gonna stick a bow on it, but like, I just feel like this paper looks so nice. It's minimal, but then I feel like with the bow, it gets a little more exciting. So, this is for my dad, this is for my dad. I have a ton of gifts here. This is like a big speaker for the basement. I don't wanna talk too loud, because I'm like, where are my parents? I keep this sweater at home, because I'm obviously always home for Christmas, but it says, morning person, December 25th. It's cute. It's so cold in my parents' house. I don't know why they keep it so cold. I mean, I know that my mom is going through some hormone changes, so that's why I know she likes it cold, but it's it does, it, it's 64 degrees. Like, it is very cold outside. So I have like a space heater in here. I got a pedicure. I'm not gonna show you guys my toes, cause no free pants. <laughs> now we're wrapping. I'm listening to some podcasts in the background to make this slightly more entertaining, because otherwise I think I might lose my mind. I know how to wrap gifts now, but I don't know how to do it in an efficient way that I'm like using the most efficient amount of product. I feel like I used too much wrapping paper on this one. This is my mom in her baking attire. The hair is killing me. No, cause I wear my hair like that too. My friends always make fun of me that it's like just thrown up. When I met so many of your gal friends last week at the show, they were like, Tina, you're so more beautiful in person. And I was like, that's because Brooke shows me with no makeup on Well, all if, the time. It, if it makes you feel better, that's like the number one most frequently thing that I get as well. What am I gonna do, put on makeup every time before I vlog? Yeah, no, like, no, no, that's, no. And that's insane. What I said. You can see what someone looks like on Instagram and videos and stuff, but until they're really like right in front of you, you can't really see like, skin complexion and like the way that they carry themselves like there's just so much more of a person than what you see online no but i think on tv in general i've always said that yeah. about the show host that i work with like you, you see a female show host in you know in person and you're like holy yeah. oh my god yeah. so much more beautiful i agree i feel that way with most celebrities too you might see them and be like yeah they're, they're definitely pretty and then you i've seen a few in person i'm like wow they are like they are a mom yeah you know yeah because it is rare for it to be 
opposite. The opposite. I think, I don't want to say with a lot of like influencer types, but some it can be that way because you know, if you only present yourself in like a really highly edited, curated yeah, way yeah, yeah, yeah. to vlog and like do stuff like this, it's hard because like, I mean, look what we look like right now. This mm -hmm. is, you know, I mean, it no, can only go up from here. Travis Matthews, right? Yes. They sent my mom a big package, like, I want to say maybe earlier in the year, but like golf stuff too, because my mom's in her golf era. Mm -hmm. She oh. loves the joggers and stuff. I love my parents where they keep this house so damn cold, so I'm wearing two layers. I've got my and base layer on. already turned up the heat, and I was sweating last night as a result. Three people set, but then underneath, I have on this Skims pink shirt that I happen to have here, so. My dad and I are gonna run out. We have to go where to the liquor store. Oh, daddy's a whole list. So we've gotta go a few places. My mom's been baking all morning. She yes, woke up I'm early. I slept on the Oh, look what I made. Check it out, people. The annual snack mix. Explain this for people who don't know. I can link the recipe down below, by the way. Yeah, so it's uh, crispex, or you could use uh, Chex. Bugles, a little bit hard to come by. Yeah, bugles. they're delicious though. And you can't even get them on Amazon unless you want to buy a case. <laughs> Small pretzels, you could use like the little um, yeah. waffle-like ones. Oh, I like those ones. ones, yeah. Yeah, but I think that these are cuter because like they kind of get in there. I do M&Ms, I do snow caps because this is a, a nut-free one. It actually calls for pecans, but I add the snow caps instead. So you get the crunch. Yeah. You know how many sticks of butter? I don't even, wait, is that what the like caramelization yes, you is? you caramel. You make uh, basically candy, so you, you take um, corn syrup, butter, maybe the worst thing for you. I'm sorry, people don't hate. Okay, I'll put the recipe Brown down below. Brown sugar, vanilla. So you make all this stuff and you drizzle it on top. And then you top. bake it too, like you. It is yeah. so good. I forgot how it's good like it is. It's our most popular. Um, I saw it sitting here on the counter. My mom had like a batch that was already made and I had like had a little bit yesterday. I was like, wow, I forgot how delicious and terribly addicting it is. They yes, do look good, They right? do look delicious. You're gonna bring some to neighbors today, you said? I am. That's so sweet of you. She's so sweet. Why not? Look, yeah, so I'm working on this for the neighbors. Oh, that's, wow, that's like a case of cookies, damn. That's nice, right? If yeah. If they're having people over. You made slutty brownies. Yes, and I used the, the David's cookie dough underneath, and then the Oreos Love. and the brownie I'm so mix. excited hopefully for Hopefully it's that. good. Oh, I'm so excited for I'm that. I'm really more so concerned with, like, hopefully it comes out of... Oh, the pan, like, it's yeah, not like baked into it? that's always my big, biggest yeah, yeah. fear. It's like, okay, great, now I can't get it out of there. Ben sent these flowers. He is skiing with his family. People are probably like, where is he? He sent these flowers for us, which is so very nice sweet. For him to send flowers. I know. Why? Because he's not here. It's, it's unnecessary. <laughs> so this is the dessert table. Brooke, this will be your favorite, right? Don't you love fruitcake, bro? Oh, I can't wait. I know, I know. You just love fruitcake. All right, we got ready. So now we glowed up from the previous clip, at least. We're getting the appetizers ready. Or should I say my mom is? I'm just supervising. My dress is from Cynthia Rally. I've been waiting on this one. It's very cute, very flattering, actually, because I like that it like flares out here at the end, but it's I love this like high neck. I don't have to worry. Like, I just... love the material. It's almost like scuba. It is. Yeah. Really? I know she's like yeah. sure. She's... It's like that material where it's almost like a bathing suit, like kind of foamy. I know? love it. And then I'm wearing my sheer text shimmer tights. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Look at them with the shimmer. So these sheer text tights, they're like a little bit more expensive than normal tights. Well, they can be very expensive. You have to get them on sale. And I can't decide if they're worth it or not. Okay, can I just tell you this? The demo on QVC. I know they do like extreme. They take like a brick. Yeah. And they put it inside and they go like, like it's crazy town. I know, but that's not an accurate measure of wearing them and like putting them on a woman's leg. Like I, I don't feel like that that is an Well, a, certainly a not. Demo. Like I told you, I pulled it. Like I I rubbed, oh, I rubbed my, um, that's my ring. That's what I'm saying. My so ring hit it and it was like. If ads on the side of like New York City buses and they're like, they're indestructible. Like, and they are definitely not indestructible. Yeah, that's okay. Not. They are very cute. I do like the shimmer tights actually more than normal. So I will link these down below. If they're on sale, worth it. If they're full price, absolutely not. Fit check. Two piece. I love it. I think it's so perfect. Do you think for it's the... flattering? Yeah, incredibly. I think it's the perfect amount of shimmer for the holidays. And right? I love it. I think it's it's perfect for Christmas. You look and amazing. I'm really comfortable. Well, that's so where? Put on my shoes, yeah. You know? Oh, surprise, surprise. We're at the runway. By the way, it would be nice. Let's all get together, gals. Get me a oh, rent the ooh. runway. I want free membership. Oh. I want, I want the whole thing. Okay. But I mean really free. Because remember, I'm on a max 12 pieces four times a month. Yeah, that's insane. It's okay. a lot of rent. Okay. I just know for a fact that someone from Rent the Runway is watching this video. I just, statistically, I know that they are. So please. Please. How please. Long? I've been doing this for too long. Sal's outfit for Christmas. I'm going to have one bite. Still have to go back and go to Lululemon. And they were not stolen. Obviously <laughs> not stolen, Mom. <laughs> No!
But that happens sometimes. You leave the sensor on the clothes. Come on. Is this Vlogmas? Yeah, it's not Vlogmas, but it's just a vlog. Yeah. I think you can order Sal like one of a remover. I, I looked on Amazon. Do they have it? No. Really? Yeah, oh, so like you have to. I know, because then people steal. Oh my god. I don't know if I've ever been this efficient with my packing, but I tried to be really, really efficient for the Tulum packing here. I did outfits by occasion. I like laid them out with post-its and then I put them in packing cubes. I have my toiletries and my makeup. I'm back in the city, back at my apartment. Hi, well, I got back like late this afternoon. It's the day after Christmas. Yesterday was so much fun celebrating with my family. We just keep it small on Christmas. It was just, me, my mom, my dad, and then my uncle Rob, who's my mom's brother, actually came over to celebrate with us as well. And we had a lovely time. Ben was skiing with his family for a few days, but now we're going on this trip together. So yay, we get to have a good time. I'm really excited. He is gonna come here, sleep here, and then we're going to head out in the morning. We have to leave at like 4 a.m. because our flight's really early in the morning and international travel's just like insane right now. So you wanna leave plenty of time and like get to the airport on time and whatever, you know the drill. I know the drill. I self tanned my body last night. I left the tanner at home, so I'm gonna have to get that at some point. I kind of showed a little bit of what I was packing in the last vlog, like the week in my life. So you can go watch that if you're curious of some outfits. Or a better thing to do is probably just to follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna be posting a lot when I'm there. I have like my digital cameras charged up and ready to go. I'm really excited. We're there for five days. I think it's gonna be a really nice time. A good mix of like relaxing and like doing things excited to get into bed in a little bit even though it's only 8 30 and i'm definitely bringing a lot of stuff with me like then i'm bringing like a duffel bag as a carry-on and stuff but i just want to be over prepared some vacations i feel like i go on i'm like oh if i happen to do some shopping there like and pick up some things i can wear them on the trip this is like the opposite of that this is like a I'm bringing everything with me vacation. That's just the way it is. I did get some really exciting Christmas gifts this year. I'm always very grateful. I just prefer a meaningful gift. Like I just want it to be something that it's like, oh, that's that means something to me. And this does mean something to me. I finally got a Kindle. Now I know people are like, you said you would never do this. That's how I am with most things. I'm like, I would never do that. Then I come around to it and then suddenly I need it. There's a few reasons why I feel like a Kindle is gonna be good for me. Number one, I do live in New York City. My bookshelf is pretty full. I love lending books to friends and family and like being like a person that has a lot of books. I think it's cool. You know, I'm, I'm here for it. But my bookshelf is full. I'm kind of <laughs> just out of space. I also do a lot of my reading at night. It's fine when I'm like by myself because I just have a little book light. However, when I want to like turn and read on my side, I feel like it's, you know, it's not the most comfortable position always to be in. I'm like a side sleeper. So sometimes I like position myself in my like sleep position. And I can't really sit there comfortably with my book. I know this is like a very much so champagne problem, but I like to, you know, just go with me on this journey. So you can't really like get comfy with a book. I mean, you kind of have to sit in like one position, right? And then also reading at night, having, when I do sleep with Ben, which is like a good amount of the time, the light just blaring is very rude. <laughs> and even though I have the ones that are like literally the dimmest lights ever, like you can, you know, click it uh, and it will just be like on a lower setting. It still is like annoying to, you know, like it's a bright light at the end of the day for the ease of someone sleeping next to me. And then also just for travel, I am doing a good amount of travel. I know in the new year, even just starting with this trip, I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to bring probably three books with me just in case. Cause I have like the book I'm currently reading and then probably gonna finish that. So then I'll go into the next book and then just in case I'll bring a third. It's a lot to carry around with me. Also, sometimes I'm not liking the book. So I wanna quickly change the book to like stick to my reading pattern. So that is why I decided to go for the Kindle. I, I still do see myself reading some physical books. I mean, who knows? We'll see. Cause I, so far I am really liking this thing. So I signed up for Kindle Unlimited. I think it's like free for the first few months. And there's certain books that are on it. You get them for free, like included with the price or whatever. And I'm reading one that was really recommended. It's called Haunting Adeline. There are a ton of trigger warnings on this book. It like started off with like a whole big thing. And I know it is a little controversial, but I wanted to read it. And I'm liking it so far. I'm like 10% done. I also do really like that with the Kindle on the bottom, it says... 
the percentage of the way you're through the book and like what page you're on, right? So I'm definitely really liking it. I don't find that it's too hard on my eyes. I can like dim it and kind of like play around with the settings. I got the Kindle Oasis, or my parents got it for me for Christmas, I should say. Very grateful for them. And then this cutie little pink case that I'm just obsessed with. I think it's a very good size. It's probably the size of like my hand. I think it'll be great for like a trip like this that's kind of like a beach vacation sort of thing because like, you know, I'll read on the plane. I'll be reading when I'm poolside, whatever. Once again, like if I don't like the book, I could switch really easily. I don't have to worry about like packing a million books with me. I actually don't know how this will go reading this in the sunlight. So I will have to keep you guys posted on that, but Yes, it's official. She's a Kindle girly. I know. Honestly, I posted a story of it on Instagram and people were... I, I feel like I haven't gotten so much engagement on a post like that in so long. You would have thought that it was like major life news, but I guess it kind of is for me. That's my major life update and I've just been like listening to podcasts and stuff while I pack all day um, and enjoying a little me time and then we're gonna head out on the trip. So I feel like this vlog was super random and really just generally all over the place but i know you guys love the vlogs with my mom and them so i figured i would just throw it up anyways when i'm in tulum i'm not going to vlog i will be like taking content for instagram and tiktok and stuff but i'm going to take a little bit of time off vlogging and then come back in the new year strong as ever and then we're going to have some like new year's content so let me know what you guys want to see in the way of new year's content i really want to do some like you know goal setting resolution setting I'm into it. I know people have their takes like, oh, stupid, new year, new me. I like it. It gives me an excuse to kind of reboot, reset as I get into the new year. I love you guys all very much. I will talk to you all very soon. Thank you so much for supporting me this year on YouTube. I love you all very much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.